Okay, uh, what I've done here is I've logged into my Xfinity account, uh, Comcast account, uh, on at Comcast.net. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go up here in the top right corner and click Security. Then I'm going to click Get It Now. Then I'm going to click Install Now. And here, what you have on this page coming up, it's going to give you all the instructions on how to download it. And it uh, it knows what browser you're using. Uh, <coughs> Comcast server can tell what browser you're using, and it can give you browser-specific instructions. So that's what's good about it. But then we're going to click Download now. Once done downloading, open it up, and it'll bring this thing up. <clears throat> um, it says make comcast.net my homepage and install the Xfinity toolbar. I'm trying to get you to install the toolbar. Um, I personally don't want it, but I just don't like toolbar, so they take up more space. But if you want the toolbar, hey, that's up to you. Agree. I didn't read the thing because I've already read it. Wink, wink. Uh, click next. Unless you want to change the install location. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then just leave it and change it. I mean, don't change it. Alright, when it's done, it's going to bring up this. When, when it's done initializing. And it's going to ask you to set a pin for your computer. So, it's the pin you're going to use to change stuff in this constant guard suit. So, I'm just going to put that see now it's asking me I've used my credit card on here a couple times so now it's asking me if I wanna you know use my give them my information so next time I buy they give out my information instead of me giving out because they're somehow more secure yeah, I'm gonna skip this step. I mean, you can do it. I'm not knocking it. I can't really say anything about it because I've never tried it. But I'm gonna skip it. I think I trust, you know, PayPal or whatever enough to buy my stuff. Okay. Um, comes to this part, and I don't want to restart. So I'm gonna click no. And here, this is the security suit that. This is this is um this is Norton I mean Comcast's thing and you know they have their own options and all that stuff but what we were looking for is Norton right here this is all this is all we wanted and now that we've got it you just click you got to click install install now it's gonna bring up this thing secure view or whatever ah. Uh, it shows you all the features here PC tune up the thing I like is 25 gig gigs of online storage so all your photos music and important files uh, they can be backed up online so if your computer crashes they're on Norton server so th that that's that's a feature I like so just go ahead and click get it now it's gonna give you the service pin uh, I've never found this service pin to be useful. I've installed this a couple of times on a few different computers, but I've never found the service pin to be useful, so I never copy it down. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Start Download. And you can click Save if you know you're going to install on another computer, so you don't have to download it again. But I'm just going to click run for now and it's going to be saved as a temporary file and go ahead and click run again but to be honest that actually doesn't matter because this is the download manager you just downloaded the download manager this download manager is what will actually download the file because obviously Norton is not a file that the known installation is not a file that takes a few seconds to install so just wait for this whole thing to install and it'll bring up this thing
Oh, dang it. So it turns out I did have to restart. Okay, well, I'm going to restart, and once I restart my computer, I'm going to finish up this video. Okay, so I've restarted, and now we're looking at my desktop. And on your desktop, as is on mine, should be this folder called Norn Installation Files. And it automatically saves the desktop. I mean, this video may be outdated at one point, but... For now, it should be on the desktop. Uh, yeah. And just go ahead and click Setup. Yes. Okay, it's gonna bring this up. Okay, um, after that initializing and starting the services, this comes up, and congratulations, you are now protected with the speed and power of Norton. And you can explore. It says your, your service is not activated now, but activate, and it will automatically go through the server and find out that you're a Comcast customer. Sometimes it does that automatically, you don't even have to click activate, but look. This is activating your service. Your service is activated. You didn't have to put any serial. It just figured out you are a Comcast customer. Oh, look. I have my PCs at risk, and I'm going to fix that. But uh, you're welcome. And you can see the Xfinity branding here. Xfinity branding here to show that, you know, it's from Xfinity and that this is not just some normal note some normal version of Norn and it's a great value because you know it saves some money save a couple bucks and get full protection from Norn instead of paying twice uh, this has been Michael King from the Falcon's Nest be sure to subscribe like rate and if you have any questions you know you can message me or any requests for tutorials you can do that too Thanks for watching.